like, comment, and subscribe. Well, we are here. I knew we would get here, the era of acceptance. And what does it mean to accept? It means to receive. It's an act of consenting to something, to undertake something. Parents, this word is for you. It's time to parent. And that doesn't mean be a dictator, but that means be vigilant. And teach your child in the fear and the admiration of the Lord. Teach your child. We are our children's first teachers. I will never accept the fact that the media, the government, and our schools want to push certain things on our kids that we as parents should morally disagree with and disapprove of. I'm going to say it again, that we should morally confront and disagree with. Such as some of the things that are in the Equality Act, such as gender control, such as some of the themes of the movies that are coming out being pushed on our kids, some commercials, some apps that are supposed to be kid-friendly but are pushing an adult, sexual, demonic agenda. I said it. We are to be aware and vigilant, and we are to be our child's first line of defense. So let me go to the word of God and not just talk at you or preach to you, but let's say what the word of God tells us about teaching our children. And Proverbs, the word of God says, train up your child and the way they should go. And when they are old, they will not depart. So that means we need to be the first one planting good seeds in our children's garden, planting good seeds so they can grow, so they can mature, so they can be productive people, young adults and adults to society, be progressive, have their own mind and be able to rightly divide truth be a, be able to rightly decipher the hidden me meanings and hidden agendas that are being spewed and pushed on our children we are to be parents first and to bear rule over our children we are to be our children's protectors our their providers to provide food and shelter for them but also provide understanding and love for them and one of the ways we love them, the word of God said, God chastens those he loves. That means he chastises you. He instructs you. And when you do something wrong, he lets you know you do something wrong. Instead of accepting everything and being complacent. As parents, we cannot afford to be complacent in regards to our children's education, in regard to our children's grooming. In regards to what our children intake, we cannot afford to be complacent and accept everything that is thrown at us by way of our eye gates and our air gates, and that includes our children. So let's talk about parameters. As a parent, you need to have some parameters for your children. God is charging you, us as parents, as guardians of our children to do better to do better, to teach, to train, and equip our children for what is happening, what is now, what is, and what is is to come. We are charged, and there is a challenge to parent rightly, morally, integrally. We need to put away childish behavior. As a parent, your child is never going to respect you, honor you, or be led to God if you're away from God and they're going to be led to things that lure them in if you're childish. A child cannot groom an adult. I'm going to say that again. And there are too many grown adults by way of paper, by way of their age that are childish. And the word of God, it says, when I was a child, I thought as a child. But when I got old, I put away childish things. So it's time, parents, to parent, not dictate, but to show forth God's marvelous praise, to initiate, to encourage your children, and to lead your children in the way that they should go.
The word of God in Isaiah 54 says, all your children shall be taught of me, taught of who God, right? By the Lord and great shall be their peace of your children. We know that suicide is on an all time high. Could it be that a lot of children, and I'm not going to say all because there are some children who have known God and committed suicide because of depression, because they thought it was no way out. But could it be that their peace was disturbed because they was never taught of the one, the one and true and living God who teaches us that he has the peace that surpasses all knowledge or understanding. He's all peace. He's all joy. He's all love. He's all hope. Could it be that suicide is at an all-time high because parents are not teaching and not rearing their children and a child in the fear and the admiration of the Lord? Could it be that suicide is on an all-time high because there is no peace for our children and that they are lured away and lured into things that are too weighty, heavy, and too much for them to bear at their age? Could it be? that our children peace is disturbed at an early age by um, images, by things that lure them away and lure them into things that are deadly, devastating, deceptive, and destructive for them? Could it be? So you are charged as a parent. This is a all out warning. I am a mother a prophet of God, a child of God. And I am charged to encourage, to instruct, to empower you, but also to warn you and instruct you. Parenting is a gift. It's a gift from God. There it says, I have no greater joy than to hear my children are walking in truth. So could it be that when our children are not led by the Holy Spirit, by the spirit of truth, by the comforter, that they are easily deceived, that they are easily drawn away with lust and deceptive practices and agenda. So the Equality Act, it basically, um, some of the things that are, are targeting our children, your children are being targeted. That's what this is about. Your children are being targeted. And it is your job to protect them, preserve your children, provide for your children, and teach your children the ways that are right in the sight of the Lord. But they are being lured away. They may, with the Equality Act, they have been approved to teach um, a curriculum that goes against, for me, my moral standards, to teach about gender, um, you know, sex early as early as kindergartens they are allowed to change their sexual um genitalia at an early age without parental consent which is an irreversible procedure they are allowed to use public bathrooms of the opposite sex if they are in transition is that something that you want your child exposed to and i want to say i'm not just talking to Christian parents, because I know not everyone is a Christian that may come by this broadcast, but I want you to be vigilant, to be aware what's going on and be aware what is being spewed on the media, on commercials even. You remember a time when commercials were innocent and pure? Now you see people of the same sex kissing and making out on commercials. You see them kissing and making out on apps that are marketing children. It's an agenda. You see them kissing and making out on television shows, daytime television shows, marketing our children. And now they have a show, a, a short film called Out that they say that it's animated, but it's a cartoon. It's a cartoon on the Disney network marketing our children. And that's not okay. And God's not happy. He's not pleased. So parents, parent, do not dictate, but be vigilant and teach your child in the way they should go. So when they are old, they will not depart. You are charged, you are challenged, and we are all going to be judged on the way we teach, instruct our children to be productive. Our children are either going to be produced, they're either going to produce things with their own mindset, or they're going to be seduced 
by every winning doctor and they're going to be seduced by what is pushed on them. So be prepared, be aware that we are in the era of acceptance. So what are you going to accept into your household and allow? Or what are you going to stop and prevent? I had Netflix for my family. I was charged this year to let it go because it has so many wicked and satanic agenda and so many shows that are not for kids that are marketed to kids. And I have a child and I'm charged as a parent to rear him morally, to teach him what's morally right and acceptable in the sight of the Lord. You are charged in this season not to accept and be complacent, but be vigilant and be a parent to your child. Remember, you are their first line of defense and you are their first teacher. You're their first love. And we have to teach them how to love right in the sight of the Lord. I will never co-sign any agency, any government school um, for taking away parental rights. And let's be clear, I will never accept them, they, the media, seducing my kid to do things that are morally wrong. So in Jesus' name, I'm going to pray for you that you raise up your child in the fear of the admiration of the Lord, that your children are not lured away, but Lord, um, and bring it into the love um, and acceptance of Jesus Christ. I'm going to pray that you don't dictate, but you initiate and that you are an example for your child. I'm going to pray that you realize that you are under grace, but God is calling you back to parent and to rightly divide truth. I'm going to pray that you teach your child how to have their own mind and rightly divide truth. I'm going to pray that you teach your child not to hate. And I don't hate anyone, but I will not accept that it is anyone else's job to teach my child about um, sex or to teach my child about um, gender or to teach my child that it's okay to love yourself the way God creates you. I will not accept anything and I will not allow other people, places, things, shows, apps to dictate my to my child and to seduce my child into sexual immorality. So God bless you and I praise that you will I pray that you will rise to the standard parent or guardian and parent and teach and love your child to life. You are charged and you are challenged to live right in the sight of the Lord and to teach your children to respect themselves and to respect others. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray a supernatural covering over your house, over your family, over your children, and may the peace of God, the purity of God, rest rule about in your household. Lead by example. And watch how your children grow up in the right and the sight of the admiration of the Lord. God bless you. Like, comment, and subscribe.